as myself. <laughs> right, uh, as you can see, um, you know, I just finished my massage. Got fighting four weeks. We're getting ready. But you know, while I'm getting ready for my fight, I decided to get, you know, Sam Ham, the real deal. Get me a nice side. Because as you can see, you know, there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing there. It's dry. So Sam is going to, you know, help me make this look amazing. And I can't wait. We are currently in Kenny's game room. We're going to be transforming this room into an amazing gaming space so that Kenny can record, create videos, live stream as well. It's going to be all mad that this room is going to be sick. I think it's currently his bedroom. Right now he has a setup here at the moment. I mean, like, look, I ain't gonna lie. Nice chair, great desk. So what happened with this is, I actually told Kenny, look, listen, order a desk, he ordered the wrong desk. So we're gonna be changing this desk. I'm gonna be taking this whole desk down and making a nice longer desk so that it fits right here. Move out this lamp and he's gonna have a really, really wide desk. Now, if you guys watched Chance's video, you would have seen that I am gonna be using a similar desk where it's about two meters wide so that Kenny can fit loads of stuff on that desk and also have a lot of space to do a lot of things. I mean, listen, we done Chance's set up and Chunk streamed for about a week or so and hasn't streamed ever since then. He's just been really busy. AJ Shabil actually did really well and he was streaming consistently. Sam Ham, what's up my boy? Hey, but yeah. Sam Ham, um, up. And then he stopped, but now he's back. Sharky was probably the most consistent streamer and he was killing it. He was enjoying it. Check out Sam Ham, watch his streams and subscribe to his YouTube channel. The Shark Nation, you know, but then they got really, really busy and they haven't really streamed. Now, hopefully Kenny is gonna be the consistent streamer but we're gonna see, we're just gonna have to find out. If you guys have watched the previous videos, you're gonna know we're gonna start off with the desk. Let's get rid of this desk, let's transform this desk and let's put in a brand new one. The first thing I had to do is actually remove the current legs from this desk. Now they were screwed in with some heavy big bolts. Once I did that, all I had to do now was remove the legs, remove the table and now we're ready to build our brand new desk. That is the old desk all moved out. Now we're putting a new desk here. You can see this desk is a lot wider than the other desk that we had. So in this desk, it's about two meters wide. The depth is about 80 centimeters or so, which is quite nice again it's going to give Kenny a lot of space now you can see these holes here this is where I'm actually going to install the leg brackets now these are motorized legs as well so that means the desk is going to go up and down like you've seen in previous videos yeah I kind of use the same stuff from beta squad members to beta squad members <laughs> pretty much can't lie it is hot in here so you can see me sweating right now it's about 28 degrees today and there's no AC or anything in here so it is boiling the things I do for you Kenny I'm about to head out now to go train but train half of this window some fight but I'm leaving my hands Wait, what? I'm leaving my apartment in your hands. Say so no I want to come back and see my room transform. Say no more. I'm lying on you. Okay. Take, Take it easy. Bye. Kenny has now gone, so it means that this apartment is in my hands and I need to make sure this whole space is transformed. So take a look at Kenny's wardrobe. Luckily, we are not fixing this, but can't lie, Kenny <laughs> seems to have a lot of strength and can actually push this into place where it's like, Argh! and then that becomes straight. So bit of a one, whoa. Bit of a wonky wardrobe there. I wonder how he actually looks at himself in the mirror. Like, like what the hell? It's, it's not even straight. One thing as well in this setup is, which we need to fix is, Kenny actually has a missing leg from his chair. Kenny needs help. We're gonna get him right. Let's do it. is finally done. I've managed to put the standing desk together and flip it over. I actually like this desk because it's nice and brown, which matches the floor. So you've got a brown tabletop here. Yes, it's a little bit dirty right now, but I'm going to clean that later. So it's a brown desk uh, with a brown floor. Standing desk is just so good. Look at these controls. All you have to do is press down to go down and literally just press up to go up. I love how easy and simple these desks are. If you want to go all the way down to the lowest point, you just press one button and there it goes. The desk literally moves for you. One thing you're probably looking at is these cables underneath. I'm gonna leave the cable management like this and I'm gonna do the cable management at a later stage. Right now, all of it is gonna be nice and messy and I'm gonna then clean it all up and you're not gonna see any wires here. You can see with this monitor, it does have the stands on it. We want to get rid of these stands and actually put them on top of here. So this will give the monitor that flexibility so that they're going to have the floating effect. So this stand here, I'm actually going to disconnect. I don't know what can he gets up to with this monitor, but hey, yo, there's a lot of white stains on this monitor. I can't remember what?
So it's looking really good right now. We've got the monitors on. I did have them in the middle, but now I've just moved them ever so slightly to the left, mainly because I want to put this big bad boy over here, which is Kenny's custom built PC. Kenny didn't actually want to upgrade his PC. He said he's got a really, really good build from Cyber Power uh, that he's had for about a year and a half or so. So he didn't want to make any upgrades to them. This is coming along very, very nicely. I like how this is looking. Next stage, I'm going to put the Go XLR. I love the other appliances on here, the stream deck, all that stuff. Let all the cables hang and then do the cable management at the very end. This is looking good. I hope Kenny likes this. He's out at the moment training. So hopefully when he comes back, he's going to have a brand new setup ready, hopefully. This thing here is what is gonna power the setup. Now this here is a 20 way extension cable. This has 20 ports of electricity. Look at how big it is in comparison to the desk. So it literally starts from here and ends literally at the computer. One thing that I do love about this 20 way extension cable is the fact that I can slide this straight into our cable management. We've got so much electricity now, that's 20 different ports. We can plug in literally every single appliance that we need. Right, so the speakers that I've gone with, the Z623, which is a surround sound speaker. So we've got a left and a right speaker, which will live over there. The right one will control the bass and the volume and Kenny can turn it on and off, which is quite nice. One of the challenges, however, is it's got a big bass, which has to live on the floor. So I've made sure that I've got some extenders for this big thing so that it can power up into the left and the right. So we've actually made a lot of progress on the setup and you can see a light's actually gleaming on my head now. And that is the Elgato key light, which I've set up over there. We've got the two monitors, which are currently blinking at the moment. The Go XLR has been installed along with the speakers, the stream deck. I haven't actually turned on just yet, but I'm gonna turn that on. And we've got the keyboard and we've got the mouse. Of course, you know, Logitech, Logitech. We have to be on brand. They have to be the same. I told you guys this before, you can't be mixing the keyboard and mouse, one Corsair, one HyperX, they've got to be the same. You don't mix Nike with Adidas, it's, it's just not on. We've got the PC here as well, which is looking amazing. Kenny has like a million hard drives. I don't know why, uh, but yeah, he has a lot of hard drives. And we've also got the PS5 here in the corner. I mean, the cables, oh my God. Goodness, the cables are mad. Gonna be sorting that out tomorrow. So this is tomorrow's job. Kenny's just walked through the door. So let's get Kenny in and see what he thinks. I've been busy here all day. I've been sweating. It's like 30 degrees in here. It's mental. So let's see what Kenny thinks of his new setup. I mean, it's not finished, but let's see what he thinks anyway. Man himself. Oh, yeah, this, this is fucking serious. This is what I need to level me up when it comes to streaming, especially. Bro, I ain't had a setup like this. I don't think I've ever had a setup like this, so this is nuts. Ignore all the cables right now. That's yeah, yeah. Gonna, that's gonna be sorted out tomorrow. You better, because listen, all that, that can cause some hazard. You know that shit, so. Philips Hue lights, by the way, at the yeah. back, which, you know, it's gonna be nice and ambient. We're gonna have lights as well underneath. Fuck so it's gonna be creating a nice little, you know. But this isn't, even, this isn't even finished, is it? This isn't finished. So it's gonna get better than this, man. Oh yeah, yeah. So look, you've got your PS5 as well in the corner there. So yeah. you take a trip around here. Okay. Tucked it away nicely. Yeah. So you yeah. can play, what, FIFA? Bruh, this is looking serious, stuff. man. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got as well, you can charge your phone as well. You smashed it, man. You smashed it. Bro, I can't wait to see the final product. If I'm excited looking at this, I can't wait to see how it's gonna look when it's all complete. Like this is, Fucking sick, man. Do I just do the arrow? To oh, yeah, yeah. So this is your standing desk. You Ooh! I've never had a desk that moves like that in my whole life. I actually feel like a proper streamer now. <laughs> this is the serious streamer shit that I've, I've, I've needed my whole life. You even remember? Yeah, you Ooh, remember your password. Off camera, I actually forgot my password earlier on because <laughs> basically I haven't been on my PC since February. I moved here in February, so I haven't loaded up my PC. So I didn't even remember my password. I had to message my brother for my password earlier on, but luckily he remembered it. Otherwise we would have been fucked. We would have been able to get in the PC. But this, this is looking serious. All this stuff, you're gonna have to show me how to oh, yeah, like, yeah. use it tomorrow. Because... Tomorrow I'm gonna show you. So, I mean, look, right now you've only got one light. So tomorrow we're gonna install another light there as well. Okay. Okay, so just waiting for that in the post. Yeah. So once that comes, we're gonna have two lights. I'm gonna yeah. run you through the Go XLR, the microphone, the keyboard, the mouse, how to operate your PlayStation, the whole lot. This is sick, man. This is like the proper like podcast like yeah. mic. <laughs> this is what all the streamers use. I'm gonna say your chair's fixed as well. Thank you. <laughs> you know I was gonna throw it away and buy a new one. I'm <laughs> sick in the head. I bet it took you like one minute to fix it as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm finished, I'm finished. <laughs> Fun fact about this, Mike, this is the Shaw SMB, right? Yeah. You know Michael Jackson used this to record all his music, especially the Bad album. 
I'm a big Michael Jackson fan, that's why I know this stuff. But and what can we get? A moonwalk? Maybe tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. tomorrow. Once this is done, you'll see a moonwalk. Alright, stay less. Moonwalk. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries, man. We are back for day two at Kenny's house now. Yesterday, we actually made a lot of progress. I managed to get the keyboard and the mouse and a few other accessories in the setup. So you can see here, the Logitech keyboard along with the Logitech mouse. We connected the Shure SM7B straight to the Elgato low profile arm. Cables are loose because today is the cable management day. We're gonna be preparing and attacking this big beast here. I feel like Tarzan in, in his jungle because, oh my gosh, I literally have to do this. So I am gonna be here cabling everything away so that Kenny pretty much can't see any cables when he's using his cell. I don't know where Kenny's gone, but Kenny's actually headed out. So it means I'm here and hopefully by the time he comes back, he's gonna see less cables than what's already here. Anyways, right, time to tackle this beast, the cable management beast, let's go. Right, so I'm very, very, very happy with the way this has come out. The cable management is Beautiful, no wires at all underneath this desk. Take a look at this. You can probably see one cable at the moment and that is because I've just taken out the PC from the setup. Now this is currently the desk at the moment. The PC does live here. The reason why I've taken the PC out of the setup right now is because I want to install this, which is the 4K60. The Elgato is going to be connected into the motherboard of the PC. I'm then going to connect the PS5 into the PC so that Kenny can play and stream or record any PlayStation games that he might be playing. And this is gonna be the last step for the setup. And then I'm gonna get Kenny in here so he can finally see the grand reveal of his brand new setup. Look how nice these lights look. I am a bit gutted though. We don't have the key light. It didn't arrive today, which sucks. Couple working days and then it's gonna be here. So here I'm taking apart Kenny's PC and I'm installing the Elgato 4K60 into the PCIe slot. Now I'm putting this right below the graphics card where there is a slot in the motherboard. Now the PlayStation 5 is gonna simply connect into the Elgato 4K60. Once that's done, all I have to do is put back the PC together and then connect it back to the setup and that's it. I am very, very, very happy with how it's looking right now. I'm gonna get Kenny in so Kenny can see the final reveal of this setup and see his reaction. All right, Kenny, we're ready for you. Come and see your brand new setup. Take a look underneath the desk as well, there's no cables. Oh my days, no wires. Nothing, look at that. I could do this, I could do it. <laughs> Feels like I'm in a spaceship right now. You know when there's so many buttons? Like, have you ever been inside a Lamborghini? No. Stop the cap. <laughs> if I load up OBS, am I, am I gonna see myself? Yeah, so there you are. Oh my days, look at the quality of the... If you just click that one to go full screen. Oh my days, this is crispy, 10 out of 10, 4K coming to live stream. What I used to do, yeah? I used to have my like Logitech C920, it's like a webcam. But when you compare it to the quality of this, it's insane. Look how smooth it is as well. No lag, nothing. I'll be real, you fucking smashed it, man. You yeah, smashed man. it. Thanks to Sam Ham, I finally got like a proper setup, man. This is like, this is like the legit stuff. So what are you gonna do on the setup then? Like after a fight, straight back home, I'm gonna do like a post-fight analysis. I'm gonna talk to the people live. That's something that people don't really do after they fight. Even an influencer box, and people would wanna see like your live reaction to how the fight just went, you know? On top of that, I live next to Sharky. Sharky's gonna be pulling up to the stream. My boy Michael's gonna be pulling up to the streams as well. I've got some ideas, I don't wanna say too much. There may be a little snake, a few snakes watching. They might steal my ideas, but listen, I'm excited to bring you some content on, uh, I'm not gonna say which live streaming platform yet because you've got to come up with a good deal, you know what I'm saying? So, oh brother, I can't wait, man. This is, look at the quality. There you go, man. Enjoy yourself, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you, bro. 